Morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. I thought it was going to be late. I was talking to the guard, to the to the workman across the road in the park. Yes. Trimming the trees. Oh, so okay. I was saying it's nice that you're doing that, so I can see through the park. Oh, nice. They need a trim, yeah. They needed a trim, and they're doing it because they can't get their mower through in the summer. Right. <laughs> That's the purpose of it. I see. Okay. That's the purpose of their diligence. But what <laughs> really shocked me was I, I had a, an idea that some rubbish got burnt. I don't know mm -hmm. why. It doesn't. It goes to landfill. Rubbish. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Because I asked them what they were going to do with what they were cutting down. And they said, oh, it goes to Transport Avenue where it gets put into mulch. Right. So after that, you don't know. Yeah. About rubbish. Mm. Uh, they, they said, oh, that goes up there as well and goes to landfill. Mm. Mm. I think that's horrendous. It is horrendous, isn't it? I said they'd be better if they if had you... some way of burning it and generating heat to heat yeah. something. I know. It's, it's such a worry, isn't it, all this landfill? Um, it's not good, yeah? No. All right, Elizabeth. Well, shall we make a start? And hope some others join us. <laughs> hope some others join us. We haven't got Leslie today, have we? It's Wednesday. Hang on one second. Sure. I'll turn the kettle off so it doesn't boil away merrily. Okay. Right. I've got also got a call that I might need to take uh, uh, from the doctor for Edie, so just be aware of that. Um, okay. Oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. You laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth. Do you be praise and glory forever? as your living word, eternal in heaven, assumed the frailty of our mortal flesh, may the light of your love be born in us to fill our hearts with joy as we sing, blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, blessed be God. God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Amen. You so saw so yourself yesterday morning, then. What? Yeah, I, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so it's all made at last. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'd obviously slipped ahead a day. Um, let's do it together, Elizabeth. Yeah. O oh Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world majesty above the heavens is praised out of the mouths of babes at the breast you have founded a stronghold against your foes that you might still the enemy and the avenger when i consider your heavens the works of your fingers the moon and the stars that you have ordained what is man that you should be mindful of him the son of man that you should seek him out you have made him a little lower than the angels and crown him with glory and honor you have given him dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field. The birds of the air, the fish of the sea and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in Amen. all the world. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Do you want to do the Ruth passage or the Colossians passage? Yes, I can, I'll, I'll get through Ruth. Yeah. You do, Ruth. All right, thanks. No sooner had Boaz gone up to the gate and sat down, there then the next of kin of whom Boaz had spoken came to him from by. Sorry, Elizabeth, I'm just going to... So Boaz said, come over, friend, sit down here. And he went over and sat down. Then Boaz took ten men of the elders of the city and said, sit down here. So they sat down. Then he said to the next of kin, Naomi, who Sorry. has very much... Sorry, 
is selling the parcel of land that belonged to our kinsman, El Elimelech. So I thought I would tell you of it and say, but it's in the presence of those sitting here and in the presence of the elders of my people. If you will redeem it, redeem it. But if you will not, let me so that I may know. For there is one prior to you to redeem it. And I came after you. So he said, I will redeem it. Then Boaz said, the day you acquire the field from the hand of Naomi, you are also acquiring Ruth, the Moabite, the widow of the dead man, to maintain the dead man's name on his inheritance. At this, the next of kin said, I cannot redeem it if for myself without damaging my own inheritance. Take my right of redemption yourself, for I cannot redeem it. <coughs> now this was the custom in former times in Israel concerning redeeming and exchanging. To confirm a transaction, one party took off a sandal and gave it to the other. This was the manner of attesting in Israel. So when the next of kin said to Boaz, acquire it for yourself, he took off his sandal. Then Boaz said to the elders and all the people, Today you are witnesses that I have acquired from the hand, from the hand of Naomi all that belonged to Abimelech <clears throat> and all that belonged to Shilon and Malon. I have also acquired Ruth the Omoabite, the wife of Marlon, my wife, to maintain the dead man's name in his inheritance in order that the name of the dead may not be cut off from the kindred and from the gate of his native place. Today you are witnesses. Then all the people who were at the gate along with the elders said, we are witnesses. May the Lord make the woman who is coming into your house like Rachel and Leah, who together built up the house of Israel. May you produce children in, in Ephratah and bestow a name in Bethlehem. And through the children that the Lord will give you by this young woman, may your house be like the house of Perez, with Tamar, whom Tamar bore to Judah. So Boaz took Ruth, and she became his wife. When they came together, the Lord made her conceive, and she bore a son. Then the woman said to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, who has not left you this day without next of kin, and may his name be renowned in Israel. He shall be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age for your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is more to you than seven sons, has borne him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him in her bosom and became his nurse. The women of the neighborhood gave him a name, saying, A son has been born to Naomi. They named him Obed. He became the father of Jesse, the father of David. Okay, thank you very much, Elizabeth. Hello, Paul, welcome. I just can't resist pointing out that little detail that along with buying the field, you get thrown in this woman as well as a wife. She sort of comes as an attachment to the field, yeah? She's a part of the parcel. She's yeah. part of the lot, isn't she? Yes. You get the plump of like, oh, I want the land, he says, but you know, you're getting this wife thrown in as well. And he's like, oh, I'm not so sure about that, yeah? That's hilarious, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but anyway, it, it's and somehow, on rereading it and rethinking about it, did Boaz know that would be the, uh, the reply? Yeah, it's a, trick, it's a tricky one, isn't he? You know, yeah, he knows. Yes, he knows. He knew that this, whoever he was, because the poor man... Never yes, he didn't, he didn't like, like the idea of having a Moabite wife. Yeah. And also, you don't know what he what his family situation was. But, also, but, I just think also, because she's a Moabite, yeah? Yeah, I mean, because it's purely that. He probably, mostly. Yeah, he would want a Moabite wife, yeah. Hello, Jenny. Hello, everybody. Sorry, Welcome. I'm Welcome. Yeah. So, yeah, I just, I, it's very touching into it where she recognises, you know, Naomi recognises Ruth's loyalty and says she's been better to me, more to me than seven sons, yeah? Um, yeah. And then there's a pointing forward to God blessing through the line of this Moabite woman, yeah? 
that will come, you know, this is a Moabite ancestor of King David and ultimately Jesus, yeah? Yes. So it's interesting affirmation of this, you know, you think there isn't a pure blood Jewish line down to no. David. There's um, funny enough, funny enough, everybody I was walking, I just came back from my walk, that's why I'm a bit late. Mm, um, as I was walking, I was thinking that same thing. Yes. Yes. But how God uses people of other yes. like, nationalities. Yes, there's a lesson in there. Book. Yeah. Isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, good. All right. So uh, we'll just scroll down a bit and do the Colossians passage. Uh, Jenny, have you got that there? Do you want to? Yes, read I it? have. Yes. Okay, lovely. Colossians 4 2 to the end. Sure. Devote yourselves to prayer, keeping alert in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray for us as well that God will open to us the door for the word, that we may declare the mystery of Christ, for which I am in prison, so that I may reveal it clearly as I should. Conduct yourselves wisely towards outsiders, making the most of your time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer everyone. Tychius will tell you all the news about me. He's a beloved brother, a faithful minister, and a fellow servant in the Lord. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, so that you may know how we are and that he may encourage your hearts. He is coming with Onesimus, the faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you. They will tell you everything about everything here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you, as does Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, concerning whom you have received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, greets you. These are the only ones of the circumcision among my co-workers for the kingdom of God, and they have been a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ Jesus, greets you. He is always wrestling in his prayers on your behalf so that you may stand mature and fully assured in everything that God wills. For I testify for him that he has worked hard for you and for those in Laodicea and in Hier Hierapolis. Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Give my greetings to the brothers and sisters in Laodicea and to Nymphia and the church in her house. And when this letter has been read among you, have it read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and see that you read also the letter from Laodicea and say to Archippus, see that you complete the task that you have received at the Lord. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. Remember my chains. Grace be with you. Yes, that's a lovely uh, ending to the letter, isn't it? Yeah. Devote yourself to prayer, keeping alert in it with thanksgiving. Conduct yourselves wisely towards outsiders, making the most of time. Let your speech always be gracious. Mm. And Lovely. also all the greetings of encouragement and prayer. Absolutely, Jenny. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It gives us a real sense of that early community of Christians. Yeah. yeah. And the men and women who were working side by side in that um yeah. a lot of evidence there that women were you know leading churches like the yeah. church in her house yeah they're equal yeah they're just equally you know working together to um to preach the gospel and uh we've massively overcomplicated it yeah <laughs> <laughs> unnecessarily it's a shame there isn't the letter from Laodicea that um yes that they was also read that that got lost in the eons of time yeah indeed all right let's have a time of prayer then shall we um lord i want to lift to you hansel uh, and his family. Hansel's not well at the moment and really want uh, him to get the treatment that he needs. Um, so please be with him. Also for baby Felix Boaz, Norna Adapitan, Jenny 
for Jenny with us today for her continued healing and treatment. For Christopher and Vivian Golis, for Chris Hargreaves, Sean Hunt, John and Pilar Irvin, Pete Jadhav, Dagmar Yankovakova, Maureen Kelly, Anna Lee, Aleda Salas, Hilary Ward, Toy Weatherett, uh, also for John Walton and the Sharma family, and also for Cantor, who I believe is unwell uh, too. So, Lord, um, please bring healing and comfort and strength to all who suffer in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, thank you for this morning. Thank you for a new day. Thank you, Lord, that we can come together again to worship you and to read up your word and be encouraged. Lord, thank you for the words of encouragement we have read this morning and that we know, Lord, there's um, purpose in community. Lord, we know that your will be done. And Lord, we know that we are here to encourage each other. So thank you, Lord, that we have this opportunity this morning as a, as a prayer group to encourage each other yes. and to lead by example, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your goodness. Lord, we pray for all those who are ill, all those who are, who are experiencing the varying circumstances, Lord, especially because of the pandemic, Lord, it has raised quite so many issues around not just illness, but everything regarding life. So, Lord, we just know that your grace is sufficient for us. And we, we Lord, we want to pledge our dependence on you and our um, obedience to you. So thank you for your love and your grace. And we know, Lord, that your blessings to us today are sufficient for all our needs. So thank you, Lord, for your love and your provision to us in every area of our lives. Thanksgiving, I pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. On this beautiful morning, may I thank you, Lord, for the facilities that we have within our borough, yes. for our parks and gardens, mm -hmm. and for the workers of them. Having spoken to two of them this morning who are busy across the road from me, mm. keep them cheerful in mind and body. And as they beautify and work, to keep these open spaces pleasant for our use. Especially at the, the, as with the pandemic earlier in last year, etc., when they were places where people gathered. May they continue to gather in these and enjoy them to their fullest extent. We thank you, Lord, and we thank all those who work within our borough services that they may work well and diligently, whatever their job. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Mighty God, in the birth of your son, you have poured on us the new light of your incarnate word and shown us the fullness of your love. Help us to walk in his light and dwell in his love, that we may know the fullness of his joy, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven. Hallowed, Hallowed be your name. Your, name. your kingdom, your kingdom come. come. Your will, your will be, done. be done on earth, on earth as, in as in heaven. Give us today, give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive us, forgive us our, our sins, as we forgive those who sin against, 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 against us. Lead us not, lead us not into, into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. evil. For the kingdom, for the, kingdom the, power, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God has poured us out Amen. of darkness into his marvellous light. Bless us and fill us with peace. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Amen. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. So, Jenny, how are you? Getting? I just thank, thank, thank you, everyone. Just wondering, Jenny, how you are getting on. Are you all right? Do you have enough help yeah. at the moment? Yes, yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. My neighbor got me some stuff yesterday. Okay. So she does online shopping. So I'm, yeah, and I have most things inside. All right. Don't forget, I'm yeah. just around the corner. Too. Yeah, definitely. So Thank you so much. Seriously, Marty, yeah. if you need yes. to see me dropping yeah. again, happy to do Thank it. Thank you no? so much. Yeah. All right. Are you all right, Paul? 
Yes, thanks, yeah. Getting out a little bit? I'm getting a bit, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, do, I'll put a face mask on when I go out. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah, that's good. Keep we need to, yeah. Yeah. Yes, but it's a lovely day today. Yes, I just... Much nicer just, than yesterday, yeah? Yeah, it's, yeah. I think the sun is shining, yeah. Yeah. Sun is shining. Yes. Exactly. All right. Well, have a lovely day. Have a good day, Martin. Thank you. Soon. Right. Yeah. Thank Thank you so around yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, Elizabeth. Well, Lots of love. Bye. Bye, Elizabeth. Bye. Bye, Paul.